I've done it. A reliable uh, reed switch. Well, it's not really a reed switch. It's more like a tilt sensor, actually. But it works fantastically reliably as long as it's flat like this. If I tilt it, you see? It's actually a fantastic tilt sensor. But look at that. That is just a male uh, header with a tiny little ball bearing in it. That's it. That's all it takes. And let me show you how it works with the uh, with an actual switch. So you know it can it can actually work, you know, tilted um, at various angles. And I just got to make this little box bigger, and it will actually work in a bigger tilt range. But oh, I'm touching the two wires together here. Hold on. Bend that other old one out of the way. Now let's see it in action. If I arrange it just in the right place. You see that? See the little green LED? Look at how reliably that is. Oh, helps if I actually line up the uh, magnet here. Down, hold, hold, up, down. And it should work at a pretty good angle, you know. You can tilt your keyboard. Just don't, you know. Well, I guess it doesn't even do that. You know, I guess it's pretty, um, it needs a strong... Uh, pull to stay uh, to form a circuit. And if I let it get too far in there, the pull of the one up top gets a little too strong. So it needs to be just about right there. See that? Just about. Haha. <laughs> and it works every time. And it's super. It's one of the hard. I realized that the problem with the DI ones I was using is the. Uh, it was hard to get the wires perfectly lined up and perfectly straight. So I came up with the idea of using a uh, a male header because they're always perfectly straight, right? And it's also a fantastic like DIY tilt sensor. Um, more like this direction, forwards this. See that? <laughs> the reason why it's staying on is because the wires were touching. Yeah, they're actually touching back there. Um, yeah, it's really tiny, teeny tiny. It works quite well. I'm, I'm impressed at how small I was able to get it. Stop touching wires. There we go. Interestingly, you know, I threw this green LED on there. You know, I was like, I was going to find a good resistor to use with it. And I was like, you know what? I'm way too lazy for that. I'm not going to go sort through my resistors. <laughs> I mean, I've got them all labeled and everything, but it's still pain. Get one out, bend it in the right shape, and then see how bright it is. Because I have no idea. I first found this LED. I have no idea what it is, what it's supposed to get to. Um, and I threw it on there expecting it to burn out. But apparently these 32-gauge copper wires provide enough resistance on their own. I mean, it was on all night last night, and I didn't even realize it, because my uh, one of my reed switches tilted upside down, and it seems to be fine, quite uh, robust. I'm impressed, and I'm also very impressed with how reliable this is. If I can get it, you know, at just in the right place. So this is a three by one point five millimeter magnet. I was focusing on that LED, but which is fine. But the uh, ball bearing I have in there is a two millimeter. You can buy like 2,000 of them for like five bucks on AliExpress. And I think that's what I, uh, I've got. And like I said, if I make this box just a little bit deeper, give the ball a little bit more tolerance, it won't get, it'll be less likely to accidentally fire from a bump or a tilt. But I, I'm guessing that it should work pretty reliably. Oh man. I am so, I mean, right off the bat, it was, I didn't have to mess with it at all. It's just super reliable right away. What's not reliable is these wires <laughs> and my ability to hold it steady as I press it, it you know, it goes around and this magnet seems, it really should be like something like that. Yeah. So I can get the full pull on the ball. And this should work too, like it's parametric. It should work with anything between like a two and a three millimeter ball bearing and the two millimeter just makes it so I can make it extra small it just barely doesn't fit between the two leads <laughs> sorry about the blurriness so yeah that's what I'm working on tonight <laughs>